Hello everyone, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another hard hitting model. This is a Gemini Jets 200 uh, Aerial Saw Born 767-200 uh, in a 1-200 scale model. I'm going to give you a history of this airline. This airline was based uh, and headquartered out of uh, Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Bolivia. That's where it was headquartered out of. It started it was founded in April of nineteen ninety two and began operations in nineteen ninety eight and was eventually ceased operations on May twelfth, two thousand twelve. And I guess that's the reason why this model's been so hot because uh you know most airlines that go under uh these models become very uh valuable, they become very hot, become almost hard to get. This is one though you probably want to pick up after uh, I get through going into the details with this model. It's a pretty nice model. It came out like about two years ago, 2012 after they went belly up. And uh, I've been staring at this model for quite some time. I kind of like passed over it a couple of times. Then I finally bought it on January 22nd, 2014 at Troy's Toys in Overland Park, Kansas. This was the last uh, aerial soar. 767 that he had so I bought it off his hand so thank you Troy for holding that for me and um, it's a pretty nice library it's a Sharko library uh, I'm going to get in details of that so here we go also came with the stand as well pretty impressive The details of uh, the box behind uh, the back of the box. So, with that said, I'm getting ready to flip this over and show you the model. There you go, folks. Pretty awesome model. Now, I'm getting ready to get into the details now. There you go. There's a little smiling shark there. Then there's the aerial soar uh, billboard uh, title across the uh, future lodge. Then there's the Sharko. You know, this is the Sharko version of the six seven. Afraid to tell you folks, but the this model does not the engine on this model does not turn. No, it does not turn. I hate to disappoint you on that. And there was a website. You know, of course, they're not in business anymore. There's a website. Then there's the uh, registration number, CP-2659. And there's the uh, Bolivia flag. That's the flag carrier of that country. And then there's the area so uh, logo on the uh, the, the uh, tail. Then there's the uh, bulk bin door right there. Open door, and there's the uh, 2659. That's the uh, registration number on the gear. Then there's the uh, gear lights in there. You see it flashing, you know, shining a little bit. I kind of like this sharky uh, live right here. It's pretty cool, purple. Get on this side as well. There's the registration number on there again. The Bolivian flag, CP2659. Then there's the uh, website, uh, www.aerosar.com. But, you know, like they're not in business no more. So, with that said, here's the uh, rear container cargo door. Then there's the uh, Sharko live. Shark on the engine, pretty nice how they put that on there. Put that on the uh, engine, pretty impressive. And then there's the uh, front con container cargo door. Then there's the smiling shark right there. Then 
and there's the door handle pretty impressive there now I'm getting ready to uh, show you the bottom of the uh, fuselage there's the beacon light the whole stand uh, where the stand goes in at there's another uh, antenna there wheels impressive there gear then there's the registration number on the uh, the wing uh, CP-2659 pretty impressive there now I'm getting and then there's the uh, registration number on that on the top of the wing as well CP-2659 and then there's the uh, aerial saw they uh, put they uh, billboard on the uh, billboard uh, logo on the uh, wing as well pretty cool um, I'm going to put it on the stand there you go folks now the top of the aircraft now there's the beacon light antenna and the two little humps there and then there's another antenna there There you go. There's the windshield wipers, the windows, pretty impressive. Now I'm gonna take this off the stand. This is a pretty impressive model. You know, if you don't have this model, I recommend you get this model though. This is gonna be a pretty nice collector. Uh, especially this little library here. This is pretty impressive. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, please rate and subscribe and leave your comments. I always love to hear what you got to say so I can do everything I can to improve my video quality so I can provide the best videos to uh, my viewers. And that's it. In the meantime, take care. God bless.